Hello and welcome to the view from ADB in uh, Yokohama, Japan. The ADB annual meetings this year mark the 50th anniversary of the bank. And today I'm joined by Takehiko Nakao, the president of the Asian Development Bank. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. So, uh, Mr. Nakao, there are uh, some analysts that argue that in uh, some shape or form, multilateral institutions are slowly becoming obsolete, mm -hmm. that there are different ways to push for development mm -hmm. in uh, growing economies. Mm. Yet here we are celebrating the 50th anniversary mm. of uh, your bank. Mm. So what is your response to that and what role can the ADB still play in the region? Uh, in short, I think uh, we have uh, played a very important role in the development of Asia in these 50 years. And there are so many uh, still remaining uh, challenges and emerging challenges to Asia. So uh, as far as Asia is concerned, I think uh, this kind of a uh, bank is still so relevant. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the regions that still definitely needs ADB support is Central Asia. Mm. So a lot of these countries are landlocked mm. and they're having uh, probably a tougher time to uh, kick off their development strategies. Would that be uh, the case that it is a central focus? For That's right. And uh, we are supporting uh, Central Asian countries uh, after they became a member after the uh, uh, collapse of uh, the uh, Soviet system. Uh, they became member one by one and we are promoting the idea of uh, the connectivity between the uh, Central Asian countries, uh, infrastructure like railways and the roads to connect countries to uh, make them uh, more value chains. Uh, uh, that is uh, one element. Another element is uh, we have been supporting countries when they face uh, difficulties. Uh, Kazakhstan and uh, Azerbaijan, for instance, uh, have uh, had uh, troubles uh, because of a uh, collapse of oil prices, uh, and uh, we supported uh, them through our uh, uh, emergency policy-based uh, budget support loans. So that is another. And uh, uh, other elements are the promoting uh, uh, good policies. Uh, it's a landlocked, but uh, there is also opportunity. Many countries in, in uh, uh, Central Asia, for instance, uh, I visited uh, Uzbekistan uh, this uh, spring, and uh, there is a lot of opportunity for agribusiness, for instance. Uh, uh, very venturous uh, private companies uh, import uh, the uh, machines for juice productions uh, from Switzerland or Germany and so on. And they are very eager to uh, export uh, uh, the uh, fresh uh, fruits and uh, juice and other agriculture, agriculture product uh, to neighboring countries, but also Europe. And today, the, uh, these uh, uh, items are often transported by the air, airplanes instead of railways or mm -hmm. ships. So there is opportunity, but we, sh we should uh, encourage them to continue uh, to explore good policies in terms of uh, prudent macroeconomic policies and open trade and investment regimes. And another country that actually has experienced tremendous growth, but uh, you've argued in the past that there still is some work to be done, uh, even in this case, India. Mm -hmm. So obviously there has been strong economic growth, yeah. uh, but maybe it hasn't really reached its full potential um, in terms of growth. Why would you think that's the case and what could the ADB do to uh, try to help and, and reach that kind of potential? Yeah, in a sense, uh, India and uh, China are two great uh, big economies in Asia and uh, they have a long history of, of uh, dynasties. But compared to China, it is true that the Indians' uh, development growth was much slower. So it is now picking up the growth rate, uh, like uh, seven point uh, something uh, in these years. But uh, compared to the 10% uh, uh, growth rate of uh, the uh, China until 2010 or 11, mm -hmm. it's uh, still lower. So India sh still should uh, uh, make uh, progress in terms of uh, infrastructure investment. Uh, there is too much uh, procedures to start uh, infrastructure. So Prime Minister Modi, who I met uh, twice, mentioned the importance of accelerating uh, the uh, infrastructure uh, investment without uh, harming uh, their social and environmental considerations. And also they must uh, uh, spend more for the education and uh, health sectors, sanitations. To do that, uh, they need uh, the uh, stronger fiscal policies, measures. 
So in that regard, uh, goods and uh, service taxes uh, reform, which is applying the uh, same uh, kind of uh, value add tax uh, system to countries instead of state by state. I think that is a major step forward. So I really hope that India, which still is a young and a growing population, uh, can uh, have a sustained uh, and solid growth in coming years. There is an opportunity, but there are so many issues. Mm -hmm. Now, in the last 50 years, the ADB has really um, supported um, the idea of free trade, of multilateralism, of regionalism in terms of cooperation in Asia to reach mm -hmm. development. But nowadays, we're obviously seeing a rise in strong protectionist rhetoric out of the newly elected US President mm -hmm. Trump, and also the willingness from his administration to mm -hmm. seek very transactional, bilateral mm -hmm. trade deals. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think the consequence of that may be? Is that the right route to take? Yeah, we should uh, maybe wait uh, for some time more to see the real uh, policies of the United States and the impact from uh, the implementation of those policies. And I want to uh, see that the U.S. would continue to take a realistic uh, approach to the uh, uh, trade issues because uh, the U.S. has been benefiting from free trade. And uh, the engagement of uh, the United States in Asia has benefited uh, Asian countries in terms of uh, stability and also economic opportunities, but also it has benefited the United States. So I hope uh, that the U.S. will continue to uh, engage with Asia in a positive manner uh, in spite of so many uh, rhetorics. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your insights and uh, have a good meeting. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.